Hey guys, welcome to Stacking the Shelves for the weekend of, and I just forgot, the weekend of January 21st. Um, I'm doing this at night again just because my son and husband are at hockey practice and I have time right now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go through my books. <clears throat> I still have a little bit of a cold, but I'm finally getting over it. It's been almost two weeks and I'm finally not feeling like absolute crap. Um, it will be a pretty quick video though because I only have three books this week. So the first book I got was for review and it's from the Amazon Vine program. And that is Blood Rose Rebellion by Rosalind Eves. Um, this is supposed to be for fans of like, um, oh, what did they say? Like some of the other young adult, like they said, um, uh, Throne of Glass and uh, I'm trying to think like the right King Rising is the one that's coming out, but what was the first book in the series? Anyways, young adult fantasy books. So um, it's about a girl who is born into a British high society, uh, but she can't use the special power she has, and so she like you know gets taken somewhere else. Um, anyways, yeah, young adult fantasy. It comes out in March, so pretty soon in a couple months. Um, I am not digging this cover, but this isn't the cover that they show on like Goodreads and stuff, so hopefully this is just a preliminary cover. I think it's kind of ugly, but um, so hopefully they don't go with that cover, but it should be an interesting read. I love young adult fantasy, so I am sure I will have a good time reading that. The second book I got, <coughs> excuse me, I bought, and it's more like a novella. It's Magic Steals by Lona Andrews. This is the second um, Jim and Dolly like novella story in the Kate Daniel series. Um, I didn't realize there was a second one. I read the first one and I enjoyed it, but I thought it ended really abruptly. So I was really excited to see if there's like a second story featuring those two because, you know, I really like Jim and Dolly and I, I really enjoyed the first book except for the fact that it just kind of like ended really short. So. Um, very excited to read that. I've been trying to catch up on like some of the Alona Andrews books and stuff and novellas that I don't have. So yeah. The last book I got this week is, I got from the library and that's Monstrous by um, Marjorie Lou and Santa Takeda. Uh, this I have heard a lot about and if you are into graphic novels you've probably seen this. Um, it's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be a really good fantasy graphic novel. Um, looking through it, I really like the artwork throughout. I like the um, I like the style of it. I like the colors, kind of that it's colorful but like muted kind of colors. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. Uh, I love fantasy graphic novels, and there aren't a lot of them. Uh, this is supposed to be kind of creepy too, I think. So um, I'm not sure what the age is on this, and we'll ha we'll have to see because. It's got, it involves cats, it looks like, and my son adores cats, and he really is getting into the whole graphic novel thing, so um, hopefully it's one that he can read as well, but I'll read it first and figure that out for him. Uh, so that's what I got this week. So I got um, Blood, Red Re Blood Rose Rebellion, Blah. I said well over, Blood Rose Rebellion for review, and then just Magic Steals I bought for Kindle, and then Monstrous Volume 1 from the library. Um... So that's it, you know, I'm feeling better. We're actually having nice warm weather for once, which is really cool. Um, I feel though like in Minnesota, um, the world tries to like trick us because, <laughs> the world, the weather tries to trick us because it, this always happens in like January, into January, February, it gets warm. It's like in the forties and you're like, oh, it's spring. And then you just get slapped because it's like, oh, <laughs> never mind. The high is going to be minus five next week. It's still winter. So I'm guessing that's probably going to happen again, but we're going to enjoy the warm 40 degree weather while we'll have it. And we are going to have it for a few days. Um, what do I got going on this weekend? We have two weekends where we are somewhat free and then we start hockey tournaments. So we're going to be out of town for hockey tournaments two weeks in a row. Um, this weekend is kind of a very social weekend for us. I have a girls' night out. We're going to go see um, La La Land tomorrow night. I'm doing this Thursday night, so Friday night we're going to go see La La Land with some of my girlfriends. 
Saturday we're having some friends that we haven't seen for a number of years, probably like four or five years. They're going to come over and we're going to do some games, play some board games and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I don't know, my son's birthday is coming up and all that stuff. We get after next, but I'm really looking forward to that. And it's so nice outside. Maybe we'll actually be able to take the Christmas lights down because a lot of times we can't until like, February or March because they get frozen to stuff and you can't actually like physically get them off until it warms up. But all that aside, I hope that you guys got some great books this week and that you have a great week of reading ahead of you. Um, I hope everybody is healthy and doing okay. I know there have been so many people sick at my work and I've been struggling with this cold for like two weeks and I'm this is really the first day I'm starting to feel better and I woke up and I thought I actually feel like I'm not gonna die which I know that's overly melodramatic but you know there's just times like that that's the problem with being like a mom and working and all that right like I felt like when I was in my teens or 20s like if I got sick I'd take a sick day from work and it was all good I'd like stay in bed and sleep all day but that doesn't happen now I have too many responsibilities at work that I can't miss and even if I do stay home from work I still have to deal with like all the stuff at night that my son does so like life doesn't stop when I'm sick anymore so anyways I know I'm just kind of whining but anyways I will talk to you guys next week um have a great week bye